I listen to music 24-7, man. So, I mean, I wake up to Black Flag and go to sleep to Pink Floyd, you know. I love music. So it's everything from blues, jazz, country, Johnny Cash, to heavy metal, to old school classic rock, to Opeth, you know. I listen to everything. Yeah, yeah because sometimes, uh, don't you sometimes need a break? Or, you know, no, I never need a break from me. I never need a break from music. Music is my life. It's like the soundtrack to my life. I. You know, and I never tell my kids to turn it down either. So if they're listening to something loud and I can't hear the TV, I turn the TV up. You know, because my parents always said, "Turn it down," or "Why are you dressing like that?" You know, I'm going to rehearsal for what? What are you going to get out of this life? You know, well, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, one thing I found out when I did the, re did, did the research that you, some of your songs were featured in Scrubs. Mm. Can you talk about this happened? Or yeah, we've been fortunate. We've been on a lot of soundtracks and a lot, of, a lot of cool things. But Scrubs happened because Jeff, my guitar player, was in a bar and heard a guy say, you know, do you know this certain band? I'm trying to get a hold of him to put him on Scrubs. And Jeff said to the guy, put us on Scrubs. And he said, who are you? He said, Devil Driver. Oh, great. And uh, it had happened. Put us on Scrubs. You know, it's just really cool to get your music out to different people. You know? Yeah. yeah. Are you personally a fan of Yeah, I'm a fan. I think it's a funny show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. genuinely funny. Yeah. And then, um, but, um, just maybe. Shut up! Silencio! Like that? Listen, you could hear a pin drop. Your bass player left the band a while ago. Can you talk about the reasons and what effect had his exit on the band? Just doing drugs every day and drinking a bottle of vodka every day. He started pissing blood, started shaking and crying. And, you know, he wrote a letter saying he left, but he technically got fired. I mean, he grew up with all the rest of the guys. I mean, since they were kids. And when they all said, no more, I had to let him go. So he went home, he went to, first he went to jail, then he went to rehab. And now I, th I heard that he's doing well. I only wish the best for somebody in that scenario, you know. It's very hard to come off of alcohol and drugs. He toured with us for almost eight, nine years straight. And you just can't uh, drink and party like that, man, you know. He's a great guy, John. Uh, I miss him, but I don't think he'll be ever coming back, you know. And I wish him the best with his life. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a sickness, you know. It's, you it's know, horrible. Help at 11 o'clock in the morning when I grab a Gatorade bottle and it's full of vodka, you can't do anything anymore, you know. And I don't, you know, people pay good money to see the show, so you have to be on top of your game, you know. It's one of the reasons I don't drink on tour, you know. You're not going to see me after the show puking and partying or before the show, you know. At home, if I want to have a glass of wine or a cocktail with my wife, it's a different story, you know. But out here on the road around people, no. You have to be right there. You know, no one wants to see me passed out in the corner. They, they've seen it. <laughs> and then, now that the lineup change happened, what, what effect had that on the band? Did it change something in the... It didn't year? change the... No, because really, on the last record, Beast, he didn't write anything. And the record came out so fantastic. I was so happy with it that uh, I didn't change the dynamic writing-wise. And then touring-wise, it really it, it changed the dynamic in the way where we didn't have to always watch out for somebody anymore. You know, so now we have Chris Towning who played in Bury Your Dead, total monster on bass. Uh, before him we had Bubble who was in Bury Your Dead. Now Bubble's t tour managing us. And uh, you know, it's a great vibe now. You know, those guys are straight edge as well. They don't drink, they don't do drugs. So that kind of thing is like purveying through, through our bus, you know, like watch yourself, you know? Don't let yourself get out of line, you know? We have a saying, it's stay in the zone. So if you're going drinking with your friends, you just tell them, stay in the zone, stay in the zone. And then if you come up and you say you're out of the zone, they know, go straight to your bunk, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess when you, when you have a lifestyle like that, you have some... I mean, I, I grew up with Cold Chamber touring with Pantera and Black Sabbath, and there's nobody partied harder than Pantera. I did so many tours with them, and I don't remember half of it. You know? I, don't, I want to remember my life now, you know. 